your safety glasses. Make sure the gas is turned off, make sure the electric is turned off. not even that old. It's already showing a lot of rust and stuff. I'm doing this up here. We'll probably drain it drain a lot faster. Turn the water off. Hopefully the one with the water 
hot water heater on. The man won't do that, I don't think. It doesn't have a tank, it doesn't have something to hold water in. So it gets rid of some of that problem too. To make it last longer. Let me get this drained out and pull it out. That's the camera for a little while. relief valve right there okay they say to put one on it in the directions but I notice in a lot of the videos that guys do of these installs on these they don't put one on but uh, I'm putting it on because it says it in the directions to put one on <clears throat> it can still build up pressure in between there and the line which could blow out so uh, there is still a place where it could build up pressure if the heater would come on and stay on and not shut off like it's supposed to, which would blow up the whole thing. So it's better to put one of those on and do what the directions say. But a lot of guys on uh, YouTube do not show this. So I think this is a very important thing to do. We'll find out how it works. And then for the line, I got the line right here. I have a little place over here. Let me turn the camera over here. Over here is where the outdoor shower head is and stuff. I'm gonna drill a hole right through here and I'm gonna put the, this hose through there. So if it ever does happen, it'll blow the water outside and it won't be inside. And that's how I'm going to fasten it up. I already got the gas hooked up. Have to get some more hoses to make this fitting over here. Down there on the bottom for the blue because this won't connect the way it is. So, got to get a little piece of hose and stuff. And after that, I think we're ready to test it. Got everything wired up. And uh, I think we'll be ready to test the system. So, getting real close. And it has this little bypass right here, there and there. You just turn those and you can still have water in the house and shut the water off to uh, do whatever you need to do to your hot water heater. But this is gonna be a lot better. No tank, hot water, on demand when you turn it on. Should be great. And I say, go by the directions and put one of these on. Don't follow the other guys on YouTube that throw these things together and don't put that on. Because without that, <laughs> something bad could happen. And they won't put it in the directions if you weren't supposed to put it on. So, put one on. And that's how you put it on. Just get a couple elbows and stuff. And the hot water will come out of here. So if anything goes wrong, this will release the hot water and let it go outside. So it doesn't blow up especially this this one's right underneath the bed I'll show you where I'm at it's a little cubby hole bed right here back up to show you what it looks like cubby hole bed actually is where I sleep all the time anyhow it's my bedroom it's small it's little then I got my studio, I turn around right here, and this is my studio, but everything's junky right now. I gotta clean it up after we get done. Turn it back into a bed. But I think on the back wall there, I'm gonna put a door so it's easier to get in there. It's kind of ridiculous. Anytime you gotta work on the water heater, you have to tear your whole bed apart. Anyhow, 
I'll get those, go to Home Depot and get those parts and be back and do some more recording and turn it on and show you how it works. Okay, we're gonna turn the hot water on. Hot water's on. And there she goes. She's working like a dream. 87, 96. Almost came on as soon as I turned it on. 111, 113, 114, 118, 20, 23. There I got hot water on demand. And you can actually set that up and down, whatever you want the top temperature to be right here. These two buttons can set it wherever you like it to be and it'll only heat up to what you want it to. And she's working fine. Had her on for a couple months now. She's been working just perfect. Use a lot less gas. Just amazing how good it works. It really works good. I'll leave a link down there at the bottom. Let me see. Down there at the bottom somewhere where I got mine at. And if you need one, you can go there and get one. And that's about it. Say hi to all my friends over there in Europe and stuff. This is Kabi out. Till next time. And God bless. And if you like my video, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching and stopping in. And I'll try to make some more videos like this later about things I install and things I do. Have a great day. God bless. Till next time. Copy out.